Last time, we enjoyed spectacular Potato Harbor on Santa Cruz Island before pointing our bow for the mainland. We cross a glassy, calm Santa Barbara channel to arrive at Ventura Harbor. We spend our last days with Nikki on board, we fix a couple of unexpected boat parts that broke along the way, and depart for more island adventures. All right, we are ready to depart from Ventura Isle Marina. We are on our way to Santa Cruz Island. Here we go. The conditions were like night and day from just a couple of days before. We were in for a bouncy ride. Halfway to the Santa Barbara Channel, and it's gotten much breezier out here. Got about 15 knots right now. Got some nice little rolling swell. We're chugging right along. Luckily, as we entered Little Scorpion Anchorage, the winds subsided. We were able to hop in the dinghy to check out our new backyard and squeeze in some sunset fishing. Another trigger fish, I think. Hell yeah. yeah. Nice! <laughs> Oh, that's a monster! Yahoo! We caught us some dinner tonight. We got two ocean white fish and two trigger fish of some sort. Pretty. Beautiful full moon rising. Another boat came in about an hour ago. And then it's just us and the mountains and the birds. So we turned both the ocean whitefish into ceviche. And then this is two of the trigger fish that we caught. So we're gonna have some delicious fish tacos tonight. We've got all sorts of toppings cut up, some salsa, some avocado. It's going to be delicious. The next morning, we found ourselves alone in the anchorage once again. The conditions were so calm, it felt like we were floating on a cloud. All right, we are in Little Scorpion Anchorage. We got here yesterday evening. Oh wow, there's so many fish right here in the water. It was a little rolly in the middle of the night, 2 a.m. We woke up and the wind had shifted from being straight in front of us to straight behind us. Luckily we had our stern hook out so it kind of kept us from completely turning around and ending up like on those rocks. Definitely made for a really rolly early morning. But we're up and at them. Now we're gonna paddle around, check out these caves here. And then I think we're gonna head to our next anchorage which I'm thinking is gonna be Fry's Harbor. actually on the protected green reserve side of Scorpion Anchorage. Just beyond those rocks where our boat is anchored, that is not part of the marine reserve. It was then time to paddle back to the mothership to feast on the fresh ceviche we had been saving for lunch. What do you think about this anchorage so far? I like it. I think it's the swell is down, so it's not rolly. And now it's third anchor, so we're not swinging around. I think it's fine. With our bellies full and our hearts content, we were eager to continue exploring Santa Cruz Island. We're leaving Little Scorpion Anchorage. 
Jack is pulling up our stern hook and we'll be heading to Fry's Harbor, I believe, as long as there's enough space for us there. What'd you find? They like to hang out in our anchor, huh? Oh, there he is. They really stick. <laughs> How do I get him out? You just have to really grab him by the body. There you go. Woo! Bye, little guy. <laughs> that was oh, awesome. he just swam right down. We were stoked to find only two other boats in Fry's Harbor, finding a perfect spot for us right in the middle. Most of the anchorages we stopped at were small coves with rocks on either side and relatively steep drop-offs, which meant you could tuck in for wind protection, but a stern hook was needed to keep us from swinging around. We tried our luck at fishing and hit the jackpot once again. We had provisioned the freezer with meat, but didn't touch it the entire trip since we were able to feed ourselves straight from the sea. Good morning from Fry's Harbor. We are having our coffee up on deck, checking out our surroundings, and we've actually experienced something we've never experienced before on a boat. Uh, we looked at our depth sounder. Our instrument said that we had about nine or ten feet of water, which we are definitely anchored in like 20 feet of water. So that was a little unnerving for a minute. Pretty funny to think we're in 10 feet of water when really it's just a bait ball underneath us tricking our instruments. Sometime this morning, the other boat in the cove left. Now it's just us. As the sun began to warm us up, we hopped in to check out the underwater spectacle happening below our keel. The bait ball was like nothing we'd ever seen before. Once again, the Channel Islands were leaving us speechless and ever so grateful for our aquatic lifestyle. The water was so clear that we decided to dive on the anchor, and boy are we glad that we did. Much to our surprise, the chain was piled on the bottom and the anchor just resting on the sand. Yeah, it's really warm. So we just reset our anchor and now I'm popping back in the water to see if it's set better this time. Uh, it definitely just piled up on the bottom and we didn't set it hard enough in this hard sand. We're used to muddy San Francisco Bay, everything sticks. Man, yeah, just hard sand too. Still, the anchor struggled to set, so Jack helped position it properly. This was a new experience for us Muddy Bay sailors. Jack hopped aboard to set the anchor while I stayed to watch below the waterline. It finally dug in, but overall we were unhappy with our CQR anchor when trying to set it in the hard, sandy bottom. With the anchor debacle sorted out, Jack paddled to shore. Fry's Harbor became an active stone quarry in the 1920s, which provided enough rock to build the Santa Barbara breakwater. To this day, you can see the remnants of the quarry infrastructure used to move the heavy rocks onto barges and back to the mainland. One of the few freshwater springs on the island is located in the valley of Fry's Harbor, and that was essential for the mining operation. So yesterday morning we woke up and we were the only boat here. And now there's lots and lots of people. And there's just 
tons and tons of little bait fish jumping to the surface. We are leaving Fry's Harbor. One guy on the dinghy said this is the crowdest, the crowdest, the most crowded <laughs> he's seen it <laughs> for this time of year. Oh, really? Yeah. Oh, wow. Alrighty, Fry's Harbor. You were great. See you next time. Off to the next destination. All right, we have left Fry's Harbor on Santa Cruz Island. We got in between Santa Cruz and Santa Rosa Island, and we just got engulfed by this crazy fog. So Santa Cruz Island is right behind us there, and you can't even see it. Okay, I'm just keeping an eye out for traffic and hoping we'll catch a fish before we get to San Miguel. We are hoping to stay there tonight and hopefully Sunday night. And then early Monday morning, we'll be starting our trek back up the coast, heading up to Morro Bay to get some fuel. And then from there, we'll probably head to Santa Cruz for one night and then we'll head back up the coast to the bay. So that's the general plan so far. Next time on To The Horizon Sailing, we head out to San Miguel Island and on the way we catch the strangest fish yet. <laughs> what is that? Oh! We drop our hook in yet another amazing anchorage and are once again eaten up by some crazy thick fog. Today is the day that we start swimming lessons with Fathom Cat. Fathom goes for her first swim, and we head to shore to chat with a friendly park ranger. Then we raise our sails and happen to cross paths with some of our favorite YouTubers. All right, welcome to the Passport Club. <laughs> They've also got a YouTube channel. They're way more YouTube famous than we are. As we make our way up the California coast, we experience some scary close encounters with some gentle giants of the sea. Shit, we're gonna run into them. Wow, almost oh, ran nice. into those guys. That was amazing. Oh my gosh, I've never seen them that close. Thanks for watching, and if you haven't already, click that subscribe button to support our channel. Until next time.